I'm called a youth transformation coach. I've been in this work for over three decades. There are three parts of it. Youth, and youth has nothing to do with age, although I deal with the age group 70 to 25 broadly, but then parents, grandparents, everybody's involved. And I had, <clears throat> I've had the pleasure of meeting 80-year-old people, even older, who were so youthful at heart. There was nothing old about them. And I've met some terribly old and ancient 17-year-olds who had no youth in them. It's strange. Numbers has nothing to do with youth. Everything's got everything to do with your attitude, your mindset. And that leads to transformation. What is transformation? Transformation is your transcending your older and lower form to a higher form, becoming better, evolving. The alchemy of copper turning into gold and a coach. Coach, you've all seen the recent Olympics. Tell me, one event, one sport where you did not see a coach next to the players. If you are a football player, look at a match between um, uh, Manchester United and Liverpool or a cricket match or any match, weightlifting, boxing, anything. Tell me one sport where a sports person can function without a coach because a coach is supposed to make your game better, add world class to what you are doing. Transformation is divided into three parts. How does transformation happen? Transformation happens when you, you, decide to transform. That's the first requirement. Nobody can force anyone to transform, which has become better. Nobody. Nobody has been able to. Nobody can. Nobody will ever be able to. It has to come from within. The, f the moment your decision is made to become better, the best version of yourself, the process has begun and it's divided into three parts A, C, A and I add another C to it A for awareness, C for choice, A for action and C for coach. So I call it the AC square formula. So the first part of transformation is your own awareness, your own decision. Once that's happened, the rest is easy. That's the most difficult. To want to change, to have the intention to change. With your awareness, you come face to face with the choices available to you, the methods, the way, the path to become better, to maximize your potential, to blossom, to bloom. From that choices emerges action. Very simple. There's no rocket science involved at all. Millions have done it, so can you. And those actions are simply the right actions, which means knowledge, skill, attitude, combined, KSA, which produce the right results. Right results can only come from the right actions. They are both directly proportional. They correspond. And the fourth, C, is the coach. I can't see, and I have never have, including my own. I have coaches and mentors too. And I, I, I won't be able to take a step forward without their presence in my life. Whether they are in their body or not, or they are physically present in my life, I can't budge. I wouldn't be here talking with this authority before you today if I hadn't been blessed with the finest of coaches. ACAC -AC is equal to transformation, vice versa. Transformation is equal to ACAC. -AC. You transform when you become aware, make the right choices, take the right actions, and you are blessed to have a coach in your life. Happy transformation. Good luck.